Hey guys, long time no see, no talk. Been really busy, got a lot of school work. So, I wanna talk about all of the death that I've had around here on the farm. We've got some crazy wild cold weather. It's almost like Arctic weather. And uh, we have scheduled negative three degrees here this week. And we're in the low teens right now, uh, about 14 degrees in the middle of the day. So um, it's warmed up. Uh, for Kansas, that's uh, definitely wild. So what we're going to do is I'm gonna show you the new animal I have. And then after that, I'm going to um, show you, I'm not really gonna show you, but I'm gonna kind of walk to the areas and I might show a glimpse of them. So if you're kind of soft about the um, seeing the animal body that might, that's gonna possibly be dead, cause I have not checked today what has died, but based off of what happened yesterday, we might see something so but i will let, i'll give a warning right before i get to those areas but we're going to show you the dog so we've got marshmallow here he is three-fourths pyrenees and then um one-eighth uh bernese mountain dog and newfoundland and so uh he's doing good so far he's a male and we have our other male jake out here in the goat pen and before i um get him off of the tether is what we call it i'm going to come out here and check everybody make sure there isn't any thing that's going weak or slowing down because we had one goat one baby goat die i think he was about two months a month or two so what i did yesterday was i threw a ton of hay out here and it looks like everything's alive. Hold on, Isaiah. So we got a lot of hay to where it's gonna be nearly impossible to open the door. So there's Jake, the other male. So we got Isaiah over here playing hockey. You like it? Show him your moves, dude. Um, You missed the puck. What are you gonna do? You missed it. You gotta hit the puck. Does he lick you? He punched, he punched you. All right, so right there, there's a white with the black stripe right there. She just lost her baby. Um, he was actually alive this morning when I left and he was walking around. He was over there by the copy paper. And so uh, he walked, we gave him some colostrum and we gave him some probiotics. So probios is the actual brand, I think. And, uh, Jake's out here just having fun, chasing these goats. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hold off on the rabbits and chickens. I know I had some chickens die. I had some baby rabbits die, a whole litter um, with this cold snap. Um, but glancing over there, it doesn't look like I have any death in the three cases I can see. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna get marshmallow. Hey, can you go get the the leash the blue one? well the blue one's in the house never mind um we're gonna get marshmallow we're gonna take him over there so marshmallow is one years old i think he's a little over one years old i think they said 15 months and then jake is two and a half and so what we're doing is we're introducing them together for about 20 30 minutes a day and they're definitely showing signs of dominance and that that whole range of things and i've never dealt with that kind of stuff so i don't know what i'm doing so we're keeping them separated so today he was on the tether and at night so after we introduce them i'm gonna pull jake on the tether and then i'm gonna put marshmallow in with the goats and that's what we did yesterday and then i left them out there till about 10 o'clock last night came in and I messed with my car for a little bit. My brake lights are messed up. And so I switched them around. Actually, we brought Marshmallow in the house last night. And then we brought him out here this morning when I was at work. Because I didn't want him chewing up on anything while I was gone. And so um, we're going to do the same kind of thing tonight until we locate him somewhere else. I'm going to keep that a surprise. Um, if you're interested in knowing what that's about, please hit that bell. 
because this is a huge surprise for y'all. It's completely new, it's completely wild, and I'm totally excited. So I'm gonna put this camera down. Looks like she's feeding him an egg. I've been having a lot of eggs just break open. Was that broken or is it frozen? Oh, I guess he's just eating it. It's not frozen. So put the phone down. We're gonna get the leashes. Marshmallow is kind of pulling me around. Let's go to the goats, dude. Let's go. So we're walking. He does pretty good on the leash. He's highly interested in all of the new smells and peeing on everything. Um, he doesn't seem to be... Oop, his leash caught on the edge of the coop. He doesn't seem to be vicious towards any of the animals. We left him with the goats for hours. And so... Um, I'm just kind of letting him choose where we're going right now. Get familiar with the area. Alright. You can check this cage too. He's just checking out all the cages. So, oh, he saw Jake, so he's excited. So he gets excited when he sees Jake, but when they get together, I don't, I don't want to say they fight, but they, oh, 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 tripping me up. He keeps going around me. They definitely are growling at each other uh and that kind of thing so if anybody has any comments they want to leave on guiding me through this do they do they fight it out a little bit i don't want to say fight it out but do they wrestle it out or do they do i keep them separate completely like how does this work because i know that one's got to figure out that they're dominant and so Oh, when I got him here, picked him up last night, he was just barking and barking at the goats. He thought the, they were just so cool. So, so they just smell each other through the fence. And then there's that other leash. I'm going to put this phone on the fence. While Marshmallow is uh, getting his drink, uh, I know she poked her head out of here, out of the edge. I got a goat, which I think is in labor. And so we've got 
about five more days of this wild weather looks like possibly six but after the heightened part of it which would be thursday friday saturday sunday and monday are gonna be um pretty nice compared to i wouldn't even say pretty nice but they're gonna go back up to the teens and so well, now that he's going i'm gonna start chopping Put the handle off my shovel. This dog is stepping like in the water. Never seen a dog do that in the middle of the winter and freezing like it is here. I wouldn't say that this is normal, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run out there. He likes to chase, chase us. And I'm gonna see if I can get the goats to come over here and drink out of it. Oh, he's literally like swimming in it. What are you doing? It's not cold? Like, come on. See if he does this again. Very good. Back. What? What? my rabbits are fine uh, I still have frozen rabbits in the nest box because they're stuck otherwise I would feed them to the chickens excuse me Jake dog wants to get him away so my quail are all fine let me turn this bad boy around it's hard to do with gloves so all my quail are good their poop is freezing and it's not falling through so i don't know how much of an issue that's going to be i've never had to deal with that so inside this little garage door right here i've got my brooder so let's get in here and check that he 
here is where I found some dead chickens this morning. So all of my baby quail are doing all right. Uh, hopefully you can see them all. I need to clean out their brooder. It's just crazy cold, so um, everything's going okay since I checked them this morning, uh, but I'm here to feed water them now again and just to make do and get out of here. I mean, this is getting nuts with how cold this is, and this ain't even at the peak of it. So other than that, y'all, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I got a little bit of the the dog, uh, what do you call it, putting them together, letting them be introduced to each other. I'm not going to put the worst part on there for a certain reason. They didn't fight, but they really started to hold on to each other's hands is weird they like twisted their arms together and like i had to like really separate them and they weren't biting each other they were just basically growling and so um if you have any advice on there on that subject please let me know or point me in a direction because i don't know and if i can make this easier um i would definitely like to do that so other than that y'all Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and just bear with me while I'm going through school and not being very active on the YouTube side. Um, but other than that, y'all, see you later.